Hey there, Internet Keith here, and welcome to the Cars with Keith YouTube channel. And in this video, we're going over the Greenworks 1700 PSI pressure washer from Lowe's. That's this unit right here, 1.2 gallons per minute. Uh, it is available on Amazon in some places. If I find a leak, I'll throw it in there, but uh, it's usually about 99 bucks or so at Lowe's. The reason I picked this is this for the cheap wash cart research project. Uh, this and another uh, pressure washer in another video that might not have been released yet are the two that I'm going to use for this. I'll give you the choice between the two. They're both right about $100. So we already did a video on the hose, which may have not been released yet. We did a video on the gun and the foam cannon for this wash cart. We will use these as well with this testing. So before we get any further into the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. Let's get right into the testing. Comes with everything you see here. You have a 20 foot hose, not a very good hose. I'm gonna tell you that right off the bat. They are 14 millimeter uh, connections, M22 connections. The gun isn't bad, pretty decent trigger. It has a 14 millimeter fitting here as well, M22. The extension that comes with the device, it is actually a T-style connection. Connects with the gun, you push it in, turn it, and then it stays connected together. Comes with a quarter inch quick disconnect on the end, pretty nice. Comes with a soap dispenser, I like to call them. Uh, not really a foam cannon, but a way of getting a little bit of sudsy soap on the car. We're gonna find out how well that works. Comes with a turbo nozzle. These work really good for cleaning driveways and houses and stuff. I would not use this on a car. Maybe a really dirty tire. Then it comes with a 40 degree tip, which is never stamped between Ryobi, Greenworks, all these companies are never stamped. You, know, you never know what size it actually is. You can guess by you know, uh, testing other sizes and seeing if you get the same PSI. So what are we gonna do different to improve this over stock and be part of the wash cart? First thing is, is M22 14 millimeter connection with a three inch uh, quick disconnect on the end. That's gonna go on the front of our pressure washer. To make life easier, we have a garden hose quick disconnect, which I'll put on the back side, back here. These are gonna allow us to connect our upgraded hose, our garden hose to make it quicker for the new wash cart. Then there is this adapter that you can buy off of Amazon. This will allow you to convert your gun and make it much shorter, and I have to use that long extension. It goes in just like the other one, and it turns. Especially if you're gonna to wanna to use a foam cannon with this really big gun. If you put one at the really long end extension, it's gonna to want to really tilt on you and it's really heavy to hold. This makes it a little bit more bearable to use this big of a gun. So we have our stock setup that we normally use. We have our quick disconnect that I showed you a minute ago. We have our shutoff valve from the house connected to my three quarter inch industrial hose. That shutoff valve is awesome. Uh, there'll be a link below for that. We are using the stock uh, foam can to begin with. We have the stock hose hooked up running out there to the wand that comes with the unit and you can see the hose does not want to lay flat. They're really hard to work with. All right, I know the lighting sucks. The sun is just right in my face. This time of year, it really sucks. But uh, here's the wand, stock wand, we'll show it. The hose right here, we have the unit just next to the car. It's as close as we want to get. Let's see how far we can get to the back of the car. Yeah, yeah we can get close to the back of the car, but it's gonna be a problem because the nozzle is too close to the car. Uh, we're like this far off. And we don't wanna get any closer up front. That's why these stock hoses are horrible 20 foot. They're not long enough and it's gonna curl up on us constantly. You're gonna feel like you're a baton twirler before the end. I guess it's a good workout uh, in the end, uh, doing this constantly to get the hose. We'll show you in a little bit how much better that upgraded hose is and you're gonna to wanna to switch to it the minute you see it. All right, let's spray. Now one tip I have that if you have a horrible hose like this is if you're going from front to back, keep the hose on this side of your body. So when you're washing this way, the hose can't hit the car. You can see this horrible mess that I have here. It's just the most annoying thing ever. We're gonna go now uh, try the soap dispenser. Actually, that's pretty good. That's really good soap dispensing right there. Not foamy foamy, but actually pretty good for like a pre-rinse. That's not bad. Just a really small bottle. And this unit likes to spin real easy, so it'll just fall off if you're really not careful. So if you want to know, this is G-Technic W4 Citrus Foam. About 50 milliliters in here. It holds 500, so it's just a 10 to one. Normally in the 1,000 milliliter ones, I'll do about 100, 120. 
So I've put the adapter on the end here. This is what I would rather use. It's just a lot easier to use. You don't have to reach as high to get to the top of the car and uh, you can get closer to the car, have a little more control over the gun as well. Stock form, I mean, it's decent. It does exactly what you need. You have a little bit of foam, you have your gun. This adapter makes life so much easier. It's only 13 bucks. It's the only thing you have to upgrade if you want to go this way and use that stock setup. Uh, you could add a foam can down the road because you'll be closer to the gun and it's not going to outweigh you so much. Stock foam can isn't bad or soap dispenser, but it's the hose for me. I mean, I could deal with a, an upgraded hose and deal with this gun. I cannot deal with this stock hose at all. So let's move on to the upgraded setup. So now we're on an upgraded setup. We have our three inch uh, quick disconnect here, M22 adapter that came with the hose. We have a three inch male plug that came with the hose. You see how much extra we have here? All the way out there, see how much flatter it is? And how much extra we have? Now at the gun, we have a three inch female here, three inch male coming out of the gun. Okay. Much better. And one thing I do gotta say about this unit, the on off is really nice. It's a quieter unit. It cuts on and off really quick. Now you can see, even with the upgraded setup, without having a swivel built in, it still likes to coil a little bit, but this lays a hundred times better. Let's go ahead and throw some foam on there using the MJJC foam cannon. So here we are using the MJJC Pro. This is just an amazing foam cannon. We pour the exact same dilution that we had in the Greenworks soap dispenser into this foam cannon. You see the difference? That's just huge. So for 50 to $60 for that gun, I mean, you just can't beat it. There's nothing out there that foams like that thing does. This is rinsing a whole lot better. Gets the soap off a lot easier. Okay, so this is the stock orifice and the stock gun. I am unsure of the orifice size on this. Just a tad over 1300, I'd say like 1325. Here are the amps. Eleven three, one 1.0 orifice nozzle. There's your 1700. Here's a 2.5 nozzle. About 1100. Here's your amperage. Thirteen two. Here is the 3.0. Let's see what it does. That's about 850. Stock orifice test. As you can see, I had the quick disconnect actually through the lid. It's on the opposite side of the lid. There's just enough room. You have to hold it just right. You can see what I mean here by having the quick disconnect on the opposite side. Push through the hole there. I come back through. Just like that. You just wanna make sure that you don't push down on the gun. If you push down on the gun, you're gonna pull up the quick release and it's just gonna fall on the bottom. Exactly as advertised, 1.2 gallons per minute. 2.5 test. So at 1100 PSI, the 2.5 really doesn't add much more. It adds maybe 0.5, so we're 1.25 now. Okay, 3.0. Well, the 3.0 did pretty well. It's actually a little bit over halfway between 1.25 and 1.5. I'm saying that's 1.4 gallons per minute right there. That is pretty good, but that's at about 850 PSI. So is this our pressure washer for the cheap wash cart build? Yes and no, I'm going to give you two options. So this one, pretty good numbers, not bad for the $99 budget uh, from Lowe's. Uh, might be able to find on Amazon, it's kind of hard to find on Amazon. 
uh, but the other one is going to be from Harbor Freight, and that's going to be another video coming soon, and that one's got some pretty dang good numbers. So you're going to have your choice. The wash cart bill, I mean, you're going to have your choice with everything. Uh, I'm just kind of testing things for you to find out stuff that's of quality enough and the numbers and you know what you're going to get. You can't get the greatest things in the world for this kind of budget. You saw 13 something amps uh, with the 1.0 and we were able to nail out the 1700 so it's definitely possible. Uh, the gallons per minute, it jumped really crazy from that 2.5 to the 3.0. Uh, normally it steps out equally. Uh, we went from 1300 to 1100 to 850. You figure that the GPM would do the same and it did it. It went up a big amount in that last one. That could be just the sweet spot uh, for that pump. Who knows? So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the next video, which is the Portland from Harbor Freight. It's going to be a pretty good one right there. And I'll see you in the next video. I was trying to cheat over and look at the pressure gauge. That's what happens. So it comes with everything that you, it, you push it in. Comes with a quarter inch quick disc. Comes with a quarter inch quick disc. To make life easier, we have a, uh, to make life, that converts, that converts, oh my God. I can't. Then there's one, oh my gosh. It's a G Technic uh, citrus foam, oh my gosh, damn. That sounds killing me. I need to get like a shadow box stand thing that like blocks and gives me, you know, so I can talk to you guys and I have my freaking lights all messed up.